Hey what's up guys this is Johan and on today's video we'll be going over part 3 of the light build. In this video I'll be going over the housing build for the fixture. So I first started with this sketch, then after that I took it into Cinema 4D um, and then I created a 3D model of it so I could at least get a idea of what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, and also I did a 3D print as well um, which I'll be showing in the next video. The next thing was trying to figure out which material I was going to make it out of. Um, I could use wood but that would probably leave me for a square box and also wood is flammable as well um, so that's a no-go. And the next thing I thought of was aluminum um, so why not when I tried it um, and that's what the build is going to be out of. Working with aluminum for me has been really tricky. Um, especially not having an actual press where I could um, press out the mold which I would make it a lot better. So I first started some guides on the aluminum sheet, then I used some tin snips to get it to the right height length, then after that I used a hole sort of a drill so I could cut the right holes out. So the aluminum that I got was very thin and flimsy. Um, I couldn't find a thicker version so I just went ahead and got this and then what I did was I riveted two sheets together so at least I could have something that won't bow or flex underneath the weight of the LEDs. The base of the light is pretty straightforward. All I had to do was put two sheets of aluminum together and then drill the holes out for the LEDs. So after I was done cutting the holes out and cutting the base to size, I was left with a lot of sharp and rough edges. So what I did was I folded over all the edges in order to cover the sharp edges into itself. This way I don't have to worry about cutting my... So once I was done with the base, all I had to do was test fit all the lenses to make sure that they fit in place. Um, they were okay, but the holes were a little bit wide. Um, I think I do have something I may be working on to kind of resolve that, but for the most part, they fit just the way I want them to. The next part of the light fixture that I had to make was the top part. This one was a little bit more difficult because there was a lot more bending. Um, I did have to drill at least one hole for the um, air intake where I'm going to be putting a cooling fan, a couple of holes to anchor it to the base um, but there was a lot of bending, pulling, pushing uh, as you could see in the clip. So if it wasn't hard enough to work with aluminum, my hole saw became dull so I had to end up cutting out the cooling fan hole with um, the tin snips. It wasn't that hard but it could have been easier if I had a hole saw or at least a drill press or something. The last thing that I did was just test out the fan grill just so I could get an idea of um, where I'm going to be putting the fan and make sure that matches up. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for this week's video. Stay tuned for next week's video where we'll go actually into the actual build of it where it's coming out, everything comes together. Alright, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more videos like this.